Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix Rainbow Six Siege server connection error code 3-0x0001000B. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first of all, what you need to do here, you need to open up your browser and then you need to go to ubisoft.com and then you need to just uh, uh, basically look for uh, Rainbow Six Siege server status. Then you can expand uh, expand all options, and then you need to look if there is no problems with uh, servers on basically Ubisoft end. And if it's if it's not, then uh, another thing that you can do here is to basically restart your game and reboot your computer. And then you need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists after you reboot the computer and they restart the game. Uh, Another thing that you can do here, uh, you need to go to the search bar, then you need to go check for updates. And you need to make sure that your operating system is fully updated by pressing this button. And if there is an update for you that you need to download and install, please do so. And then restart your computer and then you need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, Another thing that you can do here is to repair damaged uh, basically game files. And to do so, depending on what uh, basically platform you're using, I'm using Steam, so I just need to go to library, then uh, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, properties, installed files, and verify integrity of the game files. So maybe you have some corrupted files that need to be fixed. So it will take you a couple of minutes. And after that, you need to look if the problem persists uh, or not and if the problem persists another thing that you can do here is simply you need to open up command prompt or cmd run as administrator and then here you need to just write ip config slash flush dns and then uh, another command that you need to write nash winsock reset and then after that, you need to restart your computer and you need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, then you need to go to settings. Then you need to go to network and internet. Then you need to go advanced network settings. And then make sure you, that you're basically not using a, a VPN. And then you need to go to more network adapter options on this one. You need to find your internet, right click on it, go to properties, make sure internet protocol version 6 is disabled, and then double click on internet protocol version uh, 4. And here you need to uh, basically select this option. And then on preferred DNS server, you need to write 8.8.8.8. .8 and on alternate DNS server, you need to write 8.8.4.4. Apply changes, and then you need to look if the problem persists or not. And the last thing that you can do here, you can open up Windows uh, Defender Firewall. Then you need to press allow uh, an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Uh, press change settings uh, and then just click on one of the tasks here and press R. And then it, here should be Rainbow Six Siege basically uh, files here. So you need to make sure that is on private and public. And if you don't find any files related to Rainbow Six Siege, you need to add it manually, manually. So you just need to press allow another app. You'll get this window. Then you need to press browse. Then you need to go to the disks, a bit, disk where install the game. I'm on Steam. So usually for me it's on local disk C, program files x86. Then here should find Steam uh, folder. Then you need to go to uh, Steam apps, then common. And then you should be, you should find the game. And here uh, there is Rainbow Six EXE file. So what you need to do here, press to open and add. It's already added. So as you can see here, it's already in the list. But if, for you, if there is not, you will add <clears throat> basically Rainbow Six each through Windows Defender Firewall. And it should work. Right. So that's pretty much it. And if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.